Hey everyone, welcome to West Coast Muscle Saws. I get a lot of questions on pressure vacuum testing and I'm trying to put together a few little uh, hacks on how to properly do some pressure vacuum testing. And this saw here is not running well, the customer is suggesting fuel issues. And what I like to do is to pressure vacuum test, I got my gauge here, doing some pressure testing, unplug the fuel line going to the carburetor, and I've got the fuel filter out here. And what I'm looking for is restrictions in his fuel filter or a hole in the fuel line. And of course I will uh, first pinch off the fuel line, pump it up, indicating I have no leaks, release it, indicating I don't have a kink. This particular saw, several of these Huskies are known for kinking the fuel line. As you run this saw, you can see it's got motor mounts, and as you work it back and forth, this line will actually expand and contract, and I've seen several of these get underneath the crankcase pinched. We're looking for that. Okay, we verified that we don't have those issues, and then we will hook back up to the carburetor, unhook the fuel filter, pressure rise from here, and what we're looking for here is a uh, inlet needle that is sealing, and uh, this one is sealing. Of course, we could have a restriction in the carburetor, and so then we would go in deeper. That's just one of the hacks for doing some pressure vacuum testing. If you got any questions or you need some answers on pressure vacuum testing, you know how to get all the chainsaw guy.